Greeting everyone. Hope you're enjoying your day. I'm doing my best to enjoy mine and it's been good so far. Typical things that I say when people connect. Smile, find peace. Let's ask ourselves this question. What must I mourn to find peace? Yeah, before we go with the next mudra, and while everyone connects, of course, and for those who will watch this video recorded, we want to start immediately, of course. What must I mourn to find peace? It's a difficult question to ask ourselves. It is usually more pleasant to, uh, to be angry at others. It's usually more pleasant to blame whoever is to blame. <laughs> you understand that? I understand that. As a human, it is a reflex to defend ourselves. It's important to defend ourselves. Yeah. It is the virtue of prudence to defend yourself. It is the virtue of justice to seek integrity in all matters. And that's a good thing. Once that is covered as a virtue, ask yourself, am I seeking justice out of vengeance? And am I, am I using prudence as a way to justify my insecurities? And from that point, you ask yourself, what must I mourn? to find peace again. And sometimes, sometimes we mourn our own pride, our own image. Sometimes we mourn um, a lifestyle. Since COVID started, I was not able to travel. And that's what I asked myself. What must I mourn to find peace in that? Not sure I'm still completely at peace with that. <laughs> Giving seminars, being with you guys in person is, is a wonderful thing. Uh, yeah, let's see what happens in the future. But until then, what I have to mourn is luxury. That's okay. I still have video games. <laughs> what about you? What must you mourn to find peace? Okay, we got 30 something connection. Usually that's, that's the volume we get lately. <sighs> so we can start and we'll come back to the question of what must I mourn uh, multiple times during this class. So uh, we just went through a series of Miraya mantras and um, wanting to, to flow as a Vajra in all planes, flow as a true experience of self in all planes, the Vajra Bodhapanta. Okay. This one's fun, Visapurana Ragacha Vajra Mantra. Um, it's a pleasant one. I'll start with the mudra. It looks like the typical English tea mudra. Okay. But it's actually the little mirror mudra. It's like a four inch mirror that you're holding with your hands. 
this is my right hand. The mudra is everything comes together so you're inside. It's not that. The pinky is up. In, in the Mahakaruna mudras, the pinky is up often. What does it mean? It means the intellect is still present, but not involved in what is going on in, 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 the, uh, in the mudra itself. Okay. And what does that mean? If your emotions are there, your experience is there, your power is there, but your mind won't play with the drama. Your mind won't dwell on the theatricals. Your mind stays awake and focused by itself. So what does the mudra mean? The mudra is about going inside and staying in charge objectively. The mirror mudra, <laughs> there was even someone who says, the mirror mudra reflects evil outside, you know, to other people. <laughs> Come on, it's obviously look at yourself mudra. <laughs> the little mirror means look at yourself. What you do with the mirror? You reflect evil? No, you look at yourself. Okay. So that's a mudra of integrity, of desiring integrity. What does it mean, desiring integrity? To be honest with yourself. When a situation is turbulent in your life, you go to bed at night and you keep repeating a speech that you would have told one person or another. And you stay stuck with all this dialogue in your mind. This is why we want the, the mind to stay focused and out of the, of the joint experience. The joint experience is for us to go inside and feel it. But not for our mind to play into the fantasies. To be honest with yourself is not to dramatize in stories that we fabricate. That's not honest. That's theatrical. Honestly is what am I experiencing? What is the true emotion that makes me lose my nerves or have this suffering in life? Basically, a good attitude for emotional integration and personal growth. <laughs> good. That was for the mudra. We're going to practice the three components of this mantra. Visapura, what does it mean? Naragacha, what does it mean? And Vajra Mantra, what does it mean? Uh, you can refer to the book if if you have it. Um, what I wrote in the book was the easiest way to just write simple phrases without an actual class. Okay. Uh, so to promote evolution by being honest with yourself, it's kind of imprecise. But it's, it's the best I could do in a book, I think, at that time at least. Visapura. To be in a good state. It means a beautiful city or a beautiful place. Okay. In this case, is to maintain yourself in a proper state of being. A good state, meaning non-dramatic. Visapura. Visa means very, pura is place or city, okay? So visa pura is to be in a good place. Now imagine when there's drama in your life and everything is turbulent and tumultuous. 
we are tempted to fabricate stories. Let me make a parenthesis here. When you seek the virtue of justice and prudence, it's important to brainstorm, to think of all the possibilities, to establish plans, to evaluate your options. So thinking in this sense is recommended because as a human, you will have to find solutions to what is going on. But you'll recognize when you're trying to understand the situation and trying to find solutions, that's, that's a state. And you'll see the difference when you're actually telling yourself stories repeatedly and unable to fall asleep. And that is the dream, okay? So, visapura also means the proper attitude. Keep your power, your experience, your wisdom, and your emotions well embraced inside, but your mind straight up focused, okay? And that is to be productive in the case of practicing the Rishinaya. In, in this case, justice and prudence, okay? Finding actual so solutions as a human to resolve difficulties and be creative about it. But don't fall into the trap of drama, okay? So that's, that's the city of Visapura. Let's practice it for one minute and contemplate that main difference between integrity and drama. Visapura. Just think it to make the, the mental link. Visapura with this proper state, this proper attitude. And we practice Visapura for the city. For it will invoke from our soul the inspiration of something more. That's when we practice city meditation. Visapura invokes our profound self to inspire us to stay in a state of integrity. Visapura. Visapura. You can whisper it or you keep it silent inside. Visapura. 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 A deep breath. Good. Honesty with ourselves requires us to admit it, that it is challenging to de-dramatize situations when they look absolutely dramatic. Whatever the turbulence you're facing, it is so tempting to build fantasies about it instead of being creative in a brainstorm about justice and prudence. You have to be honest, it's really tempting to just start telling stories and I should have said this and that and I was getting you know, what happened and I was just wish all these people to go away and you know all, all these kind of drama. It is tempting and for a while we don't realize it that we're dramatic instead of being creative. So being honest with ourselves, it's an important part of the Visapura. Whenever we're facing a difficulty, there's a question that 
I start class with? What must I mourn to find peace? Economic stability, insecurity, or I mean, in this case, security. Um, a loved one, a favorite object. It's important to ask yourself, what must I mourn to find peace again? As much as you'll be creative in finding justice and prudence in your life. It is just proper personal growth to let go of things that are, they're gone anyway. They're going away anyway. <laughs> you understand that? Good. Visapura. To find that state inside. Naragacha. Let's go to the next city of this process, of this practice today. Naragacha, trust evolution, um, which one is which? Gacha is humans, I just want to make sure that I translate you Nara because I just say this is trust evolution, but the dictionary word for Nara is humans okay so basically nara is humans mankind or humans and gacha is evolution or advance or progress okay so nara gacha nara is mankind gacha is evolution nara gacha in any turbulence or drama there's an opportunity of progress If we combine it with the Visapura, Visapura Naragacha, with this correct state of mind, of being, we evolve. Trust that you evolve and trust that others are evolving. When others are suffering, sometimes you can't make anything about it. You can just find yourself in a state of integrity and trust evolution. Trust that they will grow. But with this mantra, and this mudra, look at yourself. Whatever I am going through, I am evolving. Naragacha. Trust evolution. Now, if you look back in your life, Every time you went through a trial, you've grown. Trusting evolution, trusting that you will still grow and you'll learn from that, it helps us de-dramatize. But also it keeps our focus on what matters. What can I make of this situation? What can I use in this situation to simply make it better? Naragacha. Find the positive of anything in a situation. It is difficult to admit, but we have a lot of blessings in disguise. <clears throat> Uh, what does it mean? Blessings in disguise. Um, uh, blessings that looks like curses. Like there's a there's a trouble. I'll take the example of of someone I care about that this week happened. Um, part of her work just didn't work. Uh, you know, uh, clients didn't purchase the products. Uh, a, a, a lot of she lost a lot of clients and and movement. And she was freaking out because, you know, she wants to do her job. But then that allowed her to have much more time free. And then she realized it was a blessing. Okay. So that's an example that I have, like, right here on top of my head. 
um, when COVID happened, I, I really would have loved COVID not to happen. But when it happened, it kind of fit with my need of vacation. Now I've had a lot of vacation. I could, I mean, I'm still working. Now I have to work, so I'm working other things. I have another job. And uh, because I need my economy to grow. But I would rather, you know, give seminars, <laughs> basically. But it was a blessing in disguise. I think me, I think we say in Spanish, uh, bendición en disfrazo, something like that. Benediction déguisée. It's hard to remember that Vishnu, as a pure unified entity that contains us, uh, I mean, we are in it, manifests everything in the most powerful way, where everyone is intertwined in the most perfect way for evolution. And for everyone also to enjoy. Sometimes we don't. So Naragacha is to have this global perspective that everything is happening now serves the movement of evolution. As an individual, the virtue of responsibility and the quality of responsibility also requires me as an individual, especially with that mudra and that mantra, what can I do about it? So yes, don't use Naragacha and the big plan of Vishnu to blindly have faith. Ah, oh, don't care about it. God is doing a perfect job on his own. You know, that's a way to just say, I'm not going to do my part. No, it's important. Visapura is this state of integrity. Naragacha is Vishnu is manifesting something perfect on a global scale. What can I do about it? And often, the apparent curses and turbulence around me ended up being blessings. It taught me lessons. It gave me breaks when I needed it. Um, we could say uh, sometimes we get sick to force us to stop working. Well, in that sense, it's a blessing in disguise. But if we're not in a state of integrity, we'll get sick to the point that we cannot work anymore. And it, it has more severe consequences. So we have to find a balance between all of that. Where we're just doing our best with the tools we have. Okay. <clears throat> I'll try to summarize Naragacha so that it will be simple, because right now we went in all directions, okay? Trust evolution, but do your best. Be proactive. In this case, being proactive for me was to accept the vacations. And after a while, to accept to go to work again and not in giving seminars. <laughs> it happens, right? Now for yourself. Let's practice Naragacha for a moment. Trust evolution and stop panicking. Okay. De-dramatize, trust evolution, we will find a solution. Everything will be fine. I mean, no one's going to kill you, hopefully. <laughs> so it's just turbulence happens in life. Okay. So you focus Naragacha. 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 Trust evolution. I'm going to do my best with what I have. And everything beyond that, I'll just trust evolution. Believe that evolution happens. De-dramatize. Not I gotcha.
that I gotcha. Trust Evolution and D Dragon. Okay, D Brett. Let's go back to the mirror thing. I've often said that sometimes you want to tell someone else that they're wrong. Remember that what you're going through, the only way that you're going to heal yourself is if you resolve your own difficulties. Of course, prudence and justice is important. If there's a problem in your life, go and act. Be prudent to protect yourself and ask for justice to happen. That's important, okay? So don't, don't use the argument to look at yourself in order to isolate and not resolve your outside situation. No, no, no. I've always exposed that, the importance of prudence and justice when I give a class of responsibility. But when this human injustice when, when this prudence and justice aspect is covered outside, the way to evolution and peace is to take care of what you are feeling and recognize your own ego in it. So there's always a balance. And I always, every time I give a class of responsibility, I expose the importance to, you know, express yourself if you have something to express. Make things right outside so no one bullies you. But you're only going to heal if you are inside doing personal growth. All right? So that's the mirror thing. Like, look at yourself. This is where we are so far with Visapura Naragacha. Find your own truth state of being and that truth cannot be about others we're not saying my truth is that the world is wrong and they have to be be corrected no. naragacha is about my evolution visapura is i am in a state of responsible being what am i feeling my betrayal, my pain, my suffering. What am I living? Good. Let's move on to the other cool part of this mantra. <laughs> Vajra Mantra. Which is cryptic. Because Vajra is always cryptic. In a simple way, Vajra Mantra is speak the truth or speak from the bottom of your heart. This is the worst trap in that mantra because we always say that when we dramatize. I'm telling you from the bottom of my heart, you, 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 and then you project on others. We always do that. Okay, so Vajra Mantra is not about other. If you mention anyone else, that's not what Vajra Mantra means. Vajra Mantra means to be completely honest with yourself. Talk to yourself about your true experience. And the mirrors there to remind you it's about what's going on inside you. Go back to yourself. You understand? Ah, oh, I find that this mantra this week fits so much with the week. <laughs> what is going on inside? And every time you're tempted to project on others that are wrong, remember that this is not going to help you evolve. It's going to help you in your human situation. Of course, human justice and prudence has to be covered outside. That mantra... Is about you inside. What are you experiencing? Can I tell myself the real thing? And Vajra Mantra, the word Vajra, is often used in a way to cut through illusion. So Vajra Mantra is 
I will not talk of drama. I will only express what I really experience, even as you talk to yourself. So the Vajra Mantra is there to stop you from telling yourself stories. So anyone who says Vajra Mantra is speak the truth and become a revolutionary and the government is wrong and these people are wrong and all of this that just wants to come out outside. That's not Vajra Mantra. That's fabulation. Vajra Mantra is I feel betrayed. I'm attached to things, object, my identity. I'm attached to people that are going away, that I suffer their passing. It's all about what do I really feel and recognizing your ego in that. Vajra Mantra is to be honest with yourself in the core of your experience and it never names someone else. The state of Vajra Mantra, actually the Siddhi Vajra Mantra will help you to get to this point. It will always be you who has to do your personal growth. We are tempted to say the other has to grow so I won't have to. The other has to beg for forgiveness so I don't have to look that I feel insulted. The others has to give me that money so I don't have to work for it. I like the way she said it. I will not indulge in stories. Yeah, or fabulations indeed. Okay. So Vajra Mantra is a city of going to the core of you and cut through the bullshit in your own mind. Of course, there is always this temptation to say, I will cut through your lies and then we protect, we will project outside. I will cut through your illusion. I will cut through your manipulations and, and use it as a weapon to project. But if you practice the Siddhi, of Vajra Mantra and you keep projecting outside, your mind is going to start hurting. It's going to tell you, hey, stop that. Vajra Mantra brings you back to your true self and that will be the dialogue that you have in your mind. Okay? Vajra Mantra is not something you, is not something you say to others. It is your dialogue inside. Vajra Mantra is the true dialogue of what is really going on. So we'll practice it for a minute, which brings us to let me be honest with myself beyond my own understanding, beyond my current fabulations and lies, beyond denial. Let me discover what is the chatter in my subconscious mind. Let me discover what are the stories I have that maintain me in suffering and blind me to evolution. Vajra Mantra. Vajra Mantra. Vajra Mantra. Vajra Mantra. <laughs> I love the feeling of that. If there is any lie of myself in my mind, trying to avoid my real issue inside. I want to see it and cut through it. The most productive way to evolve is to find inside what is the true dialogue 
and finally be free of the stories we tell ourselves. Deep breath. Very nice. Good. So now you can start to make links between these three cities. Visapura Naragacha Vajramantra. In a state of integrity, I trust evolution and experience honesty with myself. Go to the core of what is integrity. Often, when the Chinese wrote the use of a mantra, they would say it's to win in court, even if you're guilty. It's to gain wealth, even if you don't work. <laughs> but for once, for this one, they said, that is to become virtuous. <laughs> Good, finally. This is for you to be virtuous. Then you have to understand what virtue means in old China when they wrote the text. When, when they translated the, the Hindu text, the Nilakanta Sutra, into the Mahakaruna Dharani Sutra. Uh, virtue uh, in, in historical China um, has to do a bit with your appearance in public. You know, virtuous is your also your social standing. So it was fishy, but still they translated it as to be virtuous. And then we can use it today as prudence and justice will not probably be accomplished outside if from inside I'm not even saying the truth to myself. Okay. So this is a wonderful tool, the mantra of the 20th seal to bring light to to take responsibility for what I am cut through the lies inside and naturally the lies outside will be affected just trust evolution in you and others now if someone attacks you if someone is doing a a uh, a little temper tantrum of uh, of calling you names. You know, hey, you're an asshole, you're this, you're that. Go for your experience. Go for what it really hurts inside. Your pride, your image. What must I mourn to be complete? What must you mourn to be complete? Whatever situation happens, it will be important to have prudence and justice outside. But it will never be properly done if from the inside you don't even know what's going on. And that is where you start. This is where you put your focus to find peace in the turbulence. Ten years ago, the base of my teachings were about finding happiness. Because this is how we start. It is attractive. Find happiness. And as my teachings advance over the years, I said, happiness is cool, right? But what about peace? And then we realize, if we can't have happiness, if at least we are peaceful, it's really a good step. It's a good step in itself. And actually, in life, we, we seek peace more than happiness. Happiness is fun, but peace is the true flavor that as a soul we, we want. Because peace, a subtle peace that is continu continuous, is, uh, according to Sakyamuni Buddha, and I love it, is the best, uh, the best feeling of latent happiness that we can have. Just find peace in your trials. And, of course, then you are responsible and you take care of your trials outside in human life also. It's important. All right. Let's do the mantra slowly three times with the Om and the Humpat at the end. Okay. It is Humpat or Swaha? Yeah, it's Humpat. 
I practiced the CDs this week. I did not do the entire mantra when I was preparing for class. <clears throat> it is a home path because that Vajra Mantra, that inner dialogue, is surprising. It is like, wow. It is really what I'm going on inside? Wow. This is what I'm learning? This is the evolution I'm going through? Wow. So yeah, that's, that's the attitude you want to have, to be available for any surprise that will come out of Pandora's box. <laughs> okay? Three times. Well, this is the mudra, and, and this is how I count, okay? Om Visapura Naragacha Vajra Mantra Hompa. Om Visapura Naragacha Vajra Mantra Hompa. Om Visapura Naragacha Vajra Mantra Hompa. Don't stress your pinky to stand. Once you've done it, when you start the mudra, relax the pinky so it doesn't tense, it doesn't become tense, okay? As long as it doesn't touch the others, you're good. And even if it does touch a bit the others, you know, be comfortable in your practice. Again, three times. I, I, let, let me rephrase that again. In a state of integrity, trusting evolution, I'm honest with myself, cutting through illusion of my bullshit to find the truth and accept the surprising revelations. Okay. Om Visapura Naragacha Vajra Mantra Hompa. Om Visapura Naragacha Vajra Mantra Hompa. Om Visapura Naragacha Vajra Mantra Hompa. Each time you are tempted to look at someone else and think, what is wrong with that person? If it doesn't threaten your health immediately, Ask yourself immediately, what is wrong with me for thinking something is wrong with the other, even if there is something wrong with the other? The moment that your mind tries to go in, someone else is wrong. Why am I thinking that? Why must I project instead of discover really what I'm going through? And of course, be wise. If you need help from the outside, go and get it. I've always taught you about the importance of prudence and justice. And if you need guided integration or need, if you need help in doing your personal growth, go, go outside and get your help. But every personal growth starts with what am I living and what do I gain from that? by being honest with myself okay so this mirror mudra and the the naragacha mantra the mantra of evolution for us to become virtuous starts with de-dramatizing being honest and having a real dialogue inside doing this mantra will awaken what is dormant in your subconscious and it will rise. If you fight, there will be more turbulence. There is only evolution when you recognize your own ego. Do that. Find the true dialogue inside. It's beautiful. It is wonderful. Because that Vajra Mantra at one point will tell you how awesome your experience is. It will remind you how grateful we are to everything we lived. This Vajra Mantra will remind you the blessings you had that just looked like curses. 
and it will bring you back to a state of positivity. Let's do it three more times. Om Visapura Naragaja Vajra Mantra Hompa. Om Visapura Naragaja Vajra Mantra Hompa. Om Visapura Naragaja Vajra Mantra Hompa. Take a deep breath and relax. <sighs> Om Visapura Naragacha Varsha Mantra Hompa. That is the time we had today. Uh, we didn't do a mantra, uh, a, a full mala, uh, because it is an extremely efficient mantra. I encourage you to do 21 recitation per day and not a full mala. Unless you really want your inner dialogue to awaken, then you do one mala per day. That's the power of the Mahakaruna practice. These 42 seals will show you what is the greatest compassion which includes you, compassion for yourself and others. The greatest compassion is not drama. It is not lies. If you want the inner chatter to really awaken, get ready for nightmares in the night and maybe in the day. And as, as someone I love told me this week, I prefer enjoying the ride than always being in a roller coaster. It's true that enjoying the ride of evolution is, is, is cool. But you know, sometimes a roller coaster comes. And I'd rather face the roller coaster than postpone it saying, I want to enjoy the ride. I need divine justice. Divine justice means if I'm wrong, I want to pay the price. I'm going to apply it on me before I apply it on any other. And if I have done no wrong, then I can pray for anyone else to be submitted to divine justice. But I'm not going to be the one who decides that. No, I'm not going to be even the one who pretends to be right about something. I'm going to go inside and have my Vajra Mantra. What am I really going through inside? And I'm going to take care of that. Thank you. Now I have a announcement uh, regarding my new websites and uh, you know online situation, but we won't record that in the class. So I'm gonna start this class and I'm gonna start a new one immediately and do the announcement, uh, technical stuff about the member section and stuff like that, okay?